Okay, Hades Omega here. So, uh, I'm gonna do the timing belt today, and so I'm trying to figure out how to use this uh, timing belt. It's a cam, it's what they call it a cam gear locker tool. It helps lock your uh, cam gears into place to help you install the timing belts. And yeah, so I kind of figured out how to use it last night, and I'm gonna make a how to video on how how to use it because, um, 4063. I don't, I don't know. It's probably not the easiest engine to install a timing belt because the, the the exhaust cam wants to move away from you know where it should be, and the intake doesn't. It doesn't. The gears, the the cam gears don't stay in the in where you want them to stay. Is, is what I'm saying. So I'm gonna show you how to use this bad boy. So let me go take this tool off first. Okay. First of all, you gotta have your uh, 17 uh, millimeter uh, wrench. Um, it helps to have like one that's kind of like offset like this. See how this one's like kind of like an angle. A straight one is not going to work. But um, this one works okay. And um, and then have another wrench of obviously this uh, this one uh, I just I don't really use this that much, but uh, but it just so happens I didn't have another 17 lying around. But uh, and this one works actually perfectly. That's because it's like really it's really at a deep angle. So as you can see here. If you gotta get the cam gears lined up at top dead center, right? And I can't seem to get it in there. Well, they don't, it doesn't naturally rest where it is. Uh, sorry, this camera. There we go. So, see, you can see it's off by quite a bit. Probably like half or full tooth. So, a way you can get it to stay there is with this tool. And I've seen that there's two different kinds of these ones. There's one with just the pegs, and then there's a whole plastic thing. I got this one from JNZ Tuning, and so what is this? Is a piece of plastic. It's molded in the shape of the cam gear, and they mark it. <laughs> they mark it with the permanent marker. Might add, like how to use it. So you see, you see here that um, the arrow is facing up. So you probably want to keep the arrow. This is the top of the engine, so this is the proper way to use this tool. Not like this, not like this, not like this, but like that, right? And then you want to line, this is where you're going to line the marks up right here. So, so that's a, you know, that's a general operating instruction sort this thing. You got to install it like that. So I'm like, I'm trying to put this thing last in last night and, um, and I was having a hard time. Like you can see, there's like little bits of plastic and stuff that comes off. Like it's all kind of like chewed up now. But uh, I figured out how to do it. So, so the trick is to using this thing is this, you you definitely have to move the exhaust cam because the exhaust cam don't want to stay where you want it to stay. So what you got to do is um, you got to get the wrench and you got to move it. So you move that, and then you got to get the other one. You've actually got to you've actually got to move the intake cam. The intake cam seems like it's very close to where it should be, but it's not. And if it's not perfect, this tool this tool will not slide in. Like you, you can probably get it halfway in and then it'll get stuck it'll get hung up. So the proper way to do it is to actually move pull this back till it lines up and then squeeze the other one till the tool goes in. And I will go uh, I will go um, demonstrate that right now. Let me just get this camera set up. Okay, and I suggest you do this with gloves on, because uh, it the uh, well my my wrench is kind of sharp, so it it kind of hurts my hands when I squeeze it. So here we go. So you're gonna squeeze, you're gonna squeeze the exhaust cam more to line it with the intake cam, and then you're gonna line your tool up, and you're gonna squeeze both of them together until. They want to go in, which it's not doing right now. There we go. There. And if it's not wanting to go, just kind of squeeze. You got to kind of play with it. I guess you probably want to get it like halfway in there. There you go. That's it. And it stays in there. And you're ready to put your timing belt on. So this is the first time I've actually used uh, a cam lock tool on the cam gears, and it, it's kind of nice because because usually what will happen is you'll have to um, oh man the belt doesn't want to go on 
or it doesn't want to stay on and then when you start tightening it it'll slip the tooth and then like oh man I got to do it over again so this one it holds it in place so it doesn't move at all because you got the um, the exhaust the, the springs are trying to or the, the valves are trying to mush, push the valves somewhere else where you don't want it to be but uh, the 4063 seems like it's pretty bad at this like you gotta get put a quite a bit of force into it so I don't know how this timing belt's gonna stay on there and once it's tensioned in there I, I guess it kinda just holds itself in place with the belt but it seems like it wants to get away from it alright well there you go that's that's your how to uh, how to install the JNZ uh, tuning uh, timing uh, uh, timing belt uh, cam gear locker tool um, and it makes the job a lot easier. <laughs> I kind of figured out. out um, this locker tool, it it gets you in the ballpark basically. But to get them together, you have still got to squeeze it, and there's still some play in there. You can see, see, so it kind of gets you in the ballpark, and then you still have to tension the, you still have to move the cams around to get the belt in properly. So now I got it in. I got the zip ties in there. It it's uh, yeah, it's on there kind of tight. But uh, at least this way, I mean, the the belt's not going to move, you know, and and the, the cam gears are together. So that's what I learned from this DSM Graveyard uh, <laughs> YouTube video. So what he did was he, he zip-tied the, the top of the timing belt to the cams, and then he just looped it up from the right side going clockwise. So, so okay, I've, I've kind of figured it out. So this gets you in the ballpark, but not perfect. And then, uh, and then you just you just have to finagle it until it gets in there. All right, so uh, so I got it in there. Yeah, check it out. It was a real pain in the ass. I'm not gonna lie. So uh, so basically, what I had to do is I had to I had to rig up this contraption here. So oh man, this moved. Um, so uh, I had to. Uh, for some because I wasn't getting enough slack, so I needed the um, I need to pull these two uh, two wrenches together so I can get some enough slack to get the belt over everything. But the problem is I can't do that. It's very hard to do that and work underneath the cart at the same time because you got this big honking fender in the way. So so I devised the way to apply tension to the to the wrenches while uh, while I'm uh, working on the bottom of the car. So uh, this is what I did. I zip tied a, a wrench to another wrench, and uh, and it worked. It worked great. So uh, when I let this go, it should like tighten, tighten, or I could probably like tighten it some more and loose. I don't know. Well, now it's pretty tight. <laughs> I'm gonna have to cut it tight, loose. So there it is. Um, and then I just have to tension it. Hopefully, and then hopefully it'll stay in time. But uh, let's uh, let's not worry about that right now. Uh, but